What's up guys, we're back with CJ the speaker and today we're going to be talking about how God's moving on in certain ways and Satan, and Satan will try to he will try to aggravate you and put you in different things mm -hmm. and he will try to stop you from uh, from moving work where God wants you and stuff. He will like basically when you're moving towards something you will, he will try to plant a seed or a spider web because I had watched the video before, and a child of God has said um, that those that you be feeling some cobwebs sometimes, and there there be nothing right there, and then you be trying to block like wipe, wipe it like this, and well, you be nothing right there like for it to have a spider web, and those are traps, uh, trap soul spells because a witch has said she be part of trap soul spells, so when they uh like when they say say they finna fight or something like that, they'll get uh, scared or pumped up by themselves like that. Or chat, like they don't lose something like that. Like, if you put chat soul serum spells on your mind, like, or suicide stuffiness and stuff, then you will try to, uh, like, you will just do anything to afflict you from moving on to God wants you because you know you're gonna go somewhere that God, like, you know that you're doing something God wants you. And it's the only way you try to do, uh, get you is towards yourself. The only way He can get you is, uh, turn yourself into yourself. And, you will, like, when you're moving, He will try to, uh, make you not perceive what God wants you because you already know. If you're moving right towards what God wants you, He want He will try to attack you. But when, if you want, if you want Satan wants you, He won't attack you. But when you are moving towards Him, He will try to send some afflictions towards you. No matter who it come from, somebody you don't love you, argue, have an argument with them, or you can choose to uh, like to say tell your friend or somebody that's just close to you um, that I'm in affliction right now. You can come talk to me sometime later. Cause, and why are you talking to God? You tell him that. But if they tell you something of God, you shouldn't ignore it because that's either Satan trying to tell you to ignore it because some of them could be counterfeits. But some of them just uh, straight messages from God. But you make sure you know you're not uh, telling them to go away if uh, God sent them. And that's another message.